You'll often see a bar magnet drawn with uh, strange lines around it starting from the North Pole and ending at the South Pole. These green lines represent what's called the magnetic field around the bar magnet. Another way to phrase these is that they represent the field of influence that is exerted by that bar magnet on any other, bar, uh, any other magnet that might be placed nearby. If we were to place a compass somewhere out on the table nearby this bar magnet, the direction of the green magnetic field line represents the direction that the compass needle would point if you were to place a compass somewhere at the table where that green line is located. And just as the green field lines move in different directions depending on where you are in this drawing, if you were to place a compass needle somewhere at a different location on the table, it would point in different directions depending on where at the table you place the compass. Down below the bar magnet down here, the compass appears to point down and to the, to the right. Over on the right hand side, the compass needle appoints, appears to point up and to the right. Above the bar magnet, the compass needle appoints, appears to point down and to the right. These magnetic field lines are a prediction of the, the direction that would, a, a compass needle would be turned. In fact, the Earth itself is a big bar magnet that causes compass needles to point in different directions, always toward the Arctic Circle. In fact, what we call the North Pole of the Earth is actually its magnetic South Pole, because as you can see, these magnetic field lines always point away from a North Pole and toward a South Pole of a, of a bar magnet, the magnetic South Pole, which means that compass needles aim toward a magnetic South Pole. Let us try to visualize exactly what we just said. If I were to place a bar magnet on the table and then a compass somewhere near that bar magnet, notice what happens to the, the needle of the, of the compass. The compass needle tries to point toward the South Pole. If I move the compass further over to the left, the compass needle points in a somewhat funny direction. It points off to the right. If I keep moving it to the left, now the compass needle points up and to the, to the right. Over here, it points up and to the left. Even here, over here, further, it points further to the left. If I were to make a map of all the locations that I could put, move this compass and what direction it pointed at every one of these locations, this might be what, I would, what I, my drawing would look like. At every one of these little arrows shown, this is a prediction of where the compass needle would point if I were to play the, place the compass over that location. Here it points straight up. Here it points straight down. Here it points approximately to the left. Here it points approximately to the left. If I were to take a pencil and, to connect, and try to connect all the red arrows in this picture, I would appear to draw lines that swirl out away from the North Pole and circle back in toward the South Pole. And likewise down below here they would swirl out away from the North Pole and into the South Pole. In this sense the magnetic field lines look exactly like in my original drawing. These lines connect those predictions of where the compass needle would point as I move from north pole of the bar magnet to the south pole of the bar magnet. To review, magnetic field lines are a representation of the force from a bar magnet acting on another bar magnet. Magnetic field lines always point or emanate from a north pole of a bar magnet and head toward the south pole. Notice that these field lines become crowded together near the north pole and the south pole of this bar magnet. As these many lines approach one another and become very densely populated on the screen, 
That represents an area where the magnetic force on an adjacent bar magnet would be very, very strong. As these lines of, of field move further apart from one another, that represents an area where the magnetic force from this bar magnet is comparably weak. The picture shown here is of a piece of paper on which small shavings of iron are sprinkled on top. Just below the sheet of paper is a bar magnet whose field of influence is exerted through the piece of paper and affects the positioning of the shavings of iron. The shavings of iron align themselves along the, the magnetic field and you can get a pretty good sense of where the magnetic field points in this picture from looking at the shavings of iron.